Today's April 28th, 2023. I uh, was worried about this tree right here. And I was about it, worried about it falling on my house. And there's another one that's over there at the neighbors. And it's kind of over, hanging over that house. And when this one fell, I was thinking that it was their trees and couldn't get the landlord to do anything about it. So I went to the courthouse and the city of Fairmont explained to me that those are my trees. I've been here 30 years and I didn't think that that was my property because there's a fence that goes down through there. It's been there for 30 years. It was in here whenever I moved in here. And that's the tree that came down a couple weeks ago. Well, earlier this spring. And there's one that came down about five years ago. It topped out and it's forked there's the fence and my property line is about where they put this dog fence up around that yard on the other side of these trees and you can see there's the fence there's the trees for the 30 years I've been here I kept thinking they were their trees. That tree's leaning. Thank God it's not leaning too much toward my house. This is one I cleaned up about five years ago. I tried to get somebody to clean it up and I ended up cleaning it up. It fell over here and then last spring, this one topped out and it came down and landed partially in this tree here this red maple which has been here for a while but there's the fence there's the trees and this tree as you can see is kind of leaning over on that house when I talked to the city they said this was my property and that I would have to I would be held responsible for as if it fell on the tree. I total shock. I've been here for 30 something years and I had no idea. My property line, there's the awning. Just documenting it. So I don't know what's gonna happen when this, when they start taking these down. And see this fence is right through here. It goes down through there. There's the neighbor's house, and there's the trees, and my property line goes right up against that house, and it shoots down here. So the whole time I've been here, I was thinking this is my property line. This fence was here when I moved in. I thought this was the property line. That well is even on my property. And of course this bamboo is growing out all over the place. But it goes down through here. And I have two telephone poles. Of course I thought this one was on my property anyway. But 
can sneak down this way. And my property, that fence is where I thought the property line was. There are the trees. And that's supposed to be my property. And I didn't know it till yesterday. It was after three I went up because I was worried about the trees falling on my house. Got a hold of the property owner. He told me he didn't want anything to do with this because of the brush. And now I'm responsible for those trees, apparently. I had an estimate of $8,000 the last time when I had someone else give me an estimate. Anyway, the property line goes from, oh, right up, up against the house there. Like I said, I thought this was the property line. It's not, it's clear over against that house. And I'm responsible apparently for those trees that is right there. Yeah, isn't that a nice thing to be dumped on somebody all at once? Anyway, I think I'm going to need prayers to see if I can get this tree out of there without coming down on that house. See, if I'd known that, I would have taken these trees out a long time ago. So, it's from I just can't believe it. I don't know whether, what to do. I want to cry, <laughs> honestly. Because I had no idea. And now this dumped on your lap. Prayers, people. I really don't want to do this to them. My neighbors, I'd hardly know them. They're renters. I don't know. But this is for documentation purposes. And that's about all. I just that a little bit. Okay, this is the. What the city had told me was a copy of the property lines and everything. Okay. I'm not sure you can see it. But this right here is my house. Okay. And this is the property in question right here. And if you look right here, this is where the fence is at. You can see a little bit of a line right here. That's where the fence is at. My property line goes from there right beside the house. Clear up through back there. And I have the neighbors kind of know about it, but I talked to the property owner yesterday and he told me he didn't want nothing to do with that property that uh, I offered him, you know, if he would take the trees out that I would just let him use that property leave everything as it is and not change anything and if I had to clean out the property which like I said I got my first estimate on it was eight thousand um, dollars if I had to take care of it that I would be moving that fence over to where my property line is which is right up against their house you know and he told me he didn't want no part of that and that uh, moved the fence. So 
I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. I just hope removing that one tree is going to be all right. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's scary because I didn't know, like I said earlier, I didn't know about uh, the property line and that they are going to hold me responsible for those pine trees. And the one is hanging right over their house. But, uh, you know, this is documentation purposes, and right there's the road, house, and my property. What's really wild is, if you look at the, this other map here, this is my house, right here, the house next door to it, this one. Look how much of his house goes over on this other property. He's got like... So, if you're ever buying property, you need to uh, make sure where the property lines are at. Because I had no idea for 30-some years that where my property line was at. And the city told me yesterday where it was at. And are going to hold me responsible for anything. Any damages or anything, those trees that I showed you a little bit ago. Uh, they're going to hold me responsible for it. Okay, at 8 a.m. this morning, they called and said they were going to start working on the trees. They're up there, you can't see them, but that's what that chainsaw is. Just wait. Hopefully by the time I come back, they'll be all gone. They're up there right now, cutting out the limbs. Way up there. Okay. There's one just about down. Here's an update. Pity those guys, it's pouring down rain and they're still out there doing it. They've got one left. You can see up there behind this. That one big one up there. And everything else is all cut up up on the hill. Albert's gonna clean that up himself. There's some big trees up in that gonna take him a while. Okay, that last tree is coming down. I'm not sure where they're at. They're up there somewhere. There you can see on the video camera. They're underneath that tree. It's bigger than it looks on camera. But they're trying to reinforce it with ropes and stuff because it's the most dangerous one. If they cut it wrong, it could swing over toward this house or a neighbor's house, which would not be good. Okay, he's cutting on the tree. I think they're pulling it uphill by their truck. Here he goes, here he goes. Whoa, that was a big tree. Thank God they got that down and no one got hurt and no houses and no property was destroyed. Wow, and that's all, all naked up through there now. We're gonna get plenty of light. Okay. Update on the tree situation. Um, big difference. <laughs> uh, of course, I've got more stuff. <laughs> more and more stuff. Lost three trees that I kind of wanted to keep, but that's all right. These guys did a pretty good job getting them trees down. But uh, I used to have a Kyosha dogwood right there. Huh? Well, this might be it right here. 
and that tree fell on it and I had two white pines back there somewhere <laughs> there's what's left of them and this is a mess but I don't have to worry about it falling down on my house now or the neighbor's house. I just have a big mess to clean up. But, uh, the size of this tree is almost unreal. But yeah, I think uh, most of my summer is going to be spent out of here there's a little bit of damage to those trees up there they're back so far I don't have to worry about them falling on the house but uh yeah the fence is buried everything's four foot high probably here <laughs> lost part of my red maple Yeah, um, I'm gonna make this short because I need to get started. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, update on the tree situation. Trees are down, don't have to worry about them falling on the house. It's just, uh, that's a big one. And I'm sure if they would have landed on the house. He could have done some damage. This is... I did have a barrel there. This is one branch. <laughs> Am I... <laughs> yes. Well... They cut down a lot of the branches on those trees. And uh, it just left me exposed to that road up there. Which I don't really care for. We'll take care of that in time. Anyway. Update tree situation. I, wish, I hope that straightens back up. Maybe if I get that off there soon it might be alright. Signing off.